back, Junior Nators. Welcome to another LEGO video. So, I just made, I just finished filming the Lamborghini video, which came out yesterday. But today, we have this car. Now, look, there's a little story behind this car. So, this video is going to be a little bit longer than a Lamborghini. I'm sorry about that. There's just not much to it. But this is a little story about this car. So, I was supposed to be making a Mercedes GLE. And if I can, I'll put one of those on the screen. But, it turned out to look like this. And this. Our Mercedes GLE is not this big. This is a very big car. Not, it's not a Mercedes GLE. And from the back, I looked at the back. I noticed, huh, this looks familiar. Wait a minute. This looks like a BMW X7. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen. This, I like. you can really see it in the back of the car. But the side of the car, too-ish, I noticed it looks a lot like a BMW X7. And it's supposed to be a Mercedes GLE. So I'm just like, okay, I guess it's going to look like this, whatever. Okay, that's cool. So, I don't know. That's just kind of what it looks like now. And now I'm calling it the BMW X7. So, welcome to the BMW X7 review. Let's do this. So, if we look around at the front of the car, if we're just doing a walk around, we have the nice little uh, lights. And we have fog lights. I guess these are turn signals. I, I say I guess, but I did build this car, so I should know. <laughs> if we turn to the side, the steering wheel's up. There we go. We have the nice mirrors right here. We have four doors. So, we have a door right there. And then this door right here, because since this piece is right here that goes over the hubcap, it's just this little piece. This can be, like, open like so. So, we have the two doors. And if we, there's a little window in the back, and there's, like, the gas type thingy. And so, if we close these doors, you see it inside. There's a seat there, and there's actually a screen in there for, like, the entertainment system and stuff. Like, there's an actual BMW. This car is a little more detailed, but I'll take off the roof so you can see all that. So you have a back window back here, and if you look around to the back, you have all your lights and such. You have the reverse lights up at the top that kind of blend in with the window, and they have brake lights, and they have the more lights up here on the top. And this is a thing to open the trunk, because so, it does, in fact, have an opening trunk. And there's the third row seat right there, which actually is a cool feature, but I'll show you that later. We can close that. We have little exhaust pipes down here at the bottom. If we turn to this side, we have another window, no gas tank thing over here. The same doors as I showed you on the other side, except right here is supposed to be like maybe like a glove box so you can see the screen a little bit so there's no steering wheel. So I feel like that's worth showing. So we do close that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much like the overview of like the outside of the car. Now, a Lego person can't fit in all these seats. This it, it has a bench seat in the second row. You can fit a baby like person in the middle, but it's really only like really, uh, it's kind of... It's kind of a five-seater car, like two in the front, two in the second row, and one in the third row. Because the third row has to be a little bit smaller because I use these Lego hubcaps at the top because like they take up inside the car too. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole outside of the cars you guys saw. And I think maybe now you can see how it looks like a BMW. I don't know. But basically, we can take off the, let's take off the top of the roof of the car. And with it comes off the trunk and portion of the car. Let me fix that. There you go. So we just take off the roof of the car. Here's the trunk and like the lights in the trunk. So we're just going to put that aside over here. And we can take a look from the top. So as you can see, it has a nice gear selector right here. And if we just move that up and down. And it also has a touchpad right here that Mercedes has. like So you can navigate through the control and the entertainment system, which is right here. We have a nice screen. Here, let me get a closer look on that. Just like a person getting in the way. We have a nice screen and we have a couple buttons there. You also see the steering wheel. And the kind of simulated glove box right there, which is pretty nice. Move on to the second row. We have a nice bench seat. The cool thing about the second row is that someone, this one is like kind of practical. So you can get in the third row by just pushing up the seats. So they have a little joint at the bottom. You can push up the seats. So it gives you, when you open the door, it gives you a nice little pathway right here. So you can crawl yourself on back into the third row, which is right here. It's a little brick built seat that I made. So if we just push the seat down and we just push the door back on, it's at, you find it to be actually kind of cool. So that's pretty much the whole into this seat also goes up independently. These two go together. Whoops, sorry, let me center this. There you go. So you see these two go up together and this one goes independently. So yeah, and if we take our Lego guy, model guy, focus on him, there you go. So if we take him, he can fit actually throughout the car. So he can fit in the front seat. He can just sit there in the front seat. Yep. He can fit in the passenger seat, obviously. He has enough leg room and head room, but that's not really an issue with all Lego people. And he can fit, if I take this door off so you can see better, he can fit in the second row. You know, his arms are nice right here resting on the door. 
And I'm not going to put a full family in here, but you get the gist. And you can sit on the middle seat, too. And you can also sit in the third row by sitting on this little kind of green piece. He sits there. He's a nice armrest. He can kind of recline. He's a little lower than all the other seats in there. But that's for a special feature that I'll show you in a second. So you can sit there in the third row. He's really low compared to those seats. But, I mean, at least it's a third. It's a, a third row is a third row. More seats, more storage, more greatness. <laughs> but basically with the third row, a cool feature. The third row actually folds down flat into the floor. So now you have a completely, like, when I say completely, I mean completely, you have a completely flat load area right here. So you can just slide a person on in there. It's actually completely flat. The third row seats that gray piece right there folds completely flat so you can get storage. And if you want even more storage, you can fold forward the second rows, like so. This one's a little bit hard to fold since it's kind of independent and stuff, but you get the gist. So you can have all this trunk space to hold whatever your Lego people need in Lego City. I don't know what that is, but you can hold all your stuff in there. So you now have a nice flat trunk for all your stuff to go into. So that's going to conclude this review. This car is very nice. It took me probably, eh, probably 30 to 40 minutes to build. Very nice car. I built this out of my brain. With, I didn't really have a reference photo for this car like I did like the Lamborghini and stuff like that. But I do really like this car. I feel like it really resembles a BMW X7 when it really wasn't supposed to. But I feel like it has a lot of features, so I feel like that's good. And yeah, so if you did like the video, go to hit the like button. I want you guys to comment down below what videos or Lego videos you want to see. I like Lego builds that I do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, Junior Nators.